Welcome back team, and today we're doing full body power Tabata workout. Prepare to sweat and give your absolutely best. We have only 10 Tabatas to complete and only 6 cycles in each Tabata today. 20 seconds work, 10 seconds to recover and to transition to the next exercise. That's going to be really sweaty, so let's dive guys right away. And we will begin with a warm-up Tabata. This is your cardio Tabata. Take a look quickly up your demo screen. This is your good quality side lunge to ankle reach and the ankle top on the way up. Begin, guys. And as I said, we have 20 seconds work, 10 seconds to recover, which is a pretty quick interval, guys. We can definitely give it absolutely best with the best speed and the best quality. So let's warm up and wake up our body quickly, guys. The last one and your first cycle is already complete. Prepare for the second one in three, guys. Two, one, let's crush this. Again, this is our easy warm up the body exercise to wake up our body so we can prepare for the rest of the Tabatas with the weight. We have eight Tabatas to go with the weight. And the final one is gonna be just your body weight to finish strong. All right, guys, as I said, we have only six cycles. This workout will fly by super quickly. Prepare. Cycle number three. All right. Excellent. Keep on moving. Again, we're warming up, waking up. Stay nice and tall on your ankle top, guys. We have about five seconds to finish. Good job. Try not to back bend, team. And reach. And final one. Excellent. All right. I can definitely feel like my body is warming up on the position, guys. In a three, two, one. Let's have a good time. As I always say, mine for absolute success from the beginning, from the very last first minute to the very last second of this workout. Keep on working, guys. Breathe. All right. Final one. Excellent. We have only two cycles left for this cardio to bottom before we're gonna grab our weight. All right, guys, on the position, let's go. Big steps, guys. Big, bold, low steps. Good job, dive into the glutes on those side lunges. Touch, all the way, guys, touch. Nice and quick, touch. Waking up, waking up, waking up quickly. And final. One, my friends, all right. One more cycle, and it's gonna put us for the longer break so we can stay hydrated and prepare. Let's go. This is it, perfect. Touch, reach, touch, and reach, guys. Touch, finish stroke. As you can see, I'm having a couple different weights today. I'm gonna to tell you about it in a second. So this is your 45 second break in between each and every Tabata. So we can take a breath, drink the water and prepare for the next exercise. All right guys, take a look quickly at your demo. This is your progress quote, your wood topper. I'm gonna to be using one dumbbell, 15 pounds. 20 seconds of the, of the working interval will feel like a long time. This is a demanding exercise. I want you guys to really squat to your frogger nice and low, lower than 90 degrees if possible. And we chopper as long as you can. Here we go. <sighs> Toes out, guys. Give me healthy frogger. <sighs> if you have to put your dumbbell for a few seconds on the floor, after the interval, you can do it. <sighs> We're working with a pretty good weight. This is your Tabata hip style, but I want you to keep guys a great form. All right, cycle number one is already complete. On the position, guys. Dumbbell over hot. Three, two, one. Let's crush this. I promise you, team. This workout will be so sweaty, so fun, and it will fly by like a blink of an eye. As always, as long as you're working hard and do your best. Rest, less. 
this is demanding one. All right, I want to turn around so you can see the form from this side, guys. Dumbbell over hot. Let's crush this one. Low quality frogger. Thrust through the heels to get up from that frogger. Swing chop really nicely, guys. Try not to back bend too much. Arms strong and straight if possible. Last one. All the way. Excellent. This is fast. This is furious. I feel like 15 pounds is a really good weight for me. All right. Go. Don't forget to share in the comments what weights you use today. We're getting stronger and stronger every single day. Come on, team. Under 10 seconds. Give me decent over all the way top down. Last one. Again, remember, since we have only 20 seconds, one second more, definitely better than one second less. Begin, guys. This is it. Breathe. Squat. Perfect. This is our Saturday super sweat. Push it through. All the way under top, guys. Last one. So proud of you. All right. We have. Breathe, guys. Breathe. Final cycle left. Begin. Push it. All the way. I know it's getting challenging. Stay strong on your abs and core. Keep doing your progress in a quality wood top her hit up front your longer break is almost here let's do last one so proud of you guys all right drink your water quickly and for the next exercise we will use two dumbbells i will be using my 15 pound set take a look quickly at your demo guys this is your quality deadlift and your quality high pull. Your power high pull, we do the tippy toes, is your optional, guys. All right, grab your weights. Again, I'm using my 15 pounds. I want to see a quality deadlift with the abs in and braced, shoulder blades connected, thank you, guys. Again, your calf raise, your tippy toes position for power high pull is totally optional breeze 30 pounds total feels very challenging last one all right first cycle is already complete i want to turn around sideways guys three two one begin high pull when your elbows come up guys and your wrist almost underneath that elbow drive up with your elbows your shoulders staying in place one more deadlift guys we've got this very sweaty for upper body again if you have to put your dumbbells for a couple seconds on the floor you can prepare guys let's crush this one all the way breathe Look forward on your deadlift. Toes slightly away from the floor. So you don't lean into the toes all the time. Dumbbells on the ground if you have to. We have a few seconds. All right, guys, on the position. Grab your weights if you put them down. Shoulder blades connected, let's go. This is good. Push it. Push it up. Remember, the calf raise, the power version of the high pull is your option. This is it. Breathe. Last one. This is very, very sweaty with 15 pounds in each arm. Grab it. Ready, set, here we go. I'm not going to quit. I could have switched for a 10. I'm going to try to stick with eight, with 15. This is it. 
watch the shoulders. <sighs> Last one. This is good. <sighs> oh my goodness. <sighs> All right, guys, grab your weights already. If you're ready, prepare. <sighs> this is our final cycle. Let's finish super strong. <sighs> that bit. Push it up. I pull. Few seconds. Last one. This is very good. One second extra. Extra. Always count. Drink your water, and we are moving to Tabata number four already. Drink your water, guys. Cheers. Take a look, guys, at your demo on a screen now. I'm going to do this exercise with the 10 pound dumbbells. We will start the dumbbells next to the shoulders. Simultaneous press up overhead when you come back up to switch your leg. Your courtesy to overhead. Begin right here. On the way up, right away. Courtesy. Stop. And bring the dumbbells up to overhead press on the way up. Last one. Good job. Breathe. Stay with me. All right, in the center. Dumbbells next to shoulders. Here we go. Good courtesy. Press up. Press it up. Press it up. Good. Nice quality. Wait for you put your feet. This is it. Last one. Good. One extra second. Stay with me. Walk around your mat. Don't quit. Dumbbells next to shoulders already. Begin your work. These 10 seconds fly by so quick. Breathe, guys. On the way up, when you get up from your courtesy, you already press. Press. Last one. Press. Back. Good. All right, my friends. Breathe. Dumbbells already next to your shoulders. Prepare. Let's crush this. Come on up. Good quality courtesy. Try to look up front of yourself most of the time. This is good. Perfect. Only a few seconds left, guys. I think we can do one more. This is it. All right. Dumbbells on the floor. If you have to for a few seconds, let's pick them up. All right. Ready? Crush it. This is it. Remember, it's only 10 seconds to rest. You can't procrastinate. Breathe. Abs in. Tight. Strong arms on the way up. And on the way down as well. Breathe, guys. On the position, my friends. Dumbbells next to shoulders. Prepare to crush last one. Cycle number six already. This is it. Push it up. Push it up. Push press. Last one. Push press. Excellent. Beautiful, guys. Rock your dumbbells. We ready for drinking our water. Take a deep breath in. You will recover faster. Slow exhalation and then sip your water, my friends. All right, take a look at your demo. For this one, I will be using my 15 pound set. Your bicep curl clutch. To good morning squat slash deadlift. If I need to change it, I will, but I will begin with the 15 pounder. Prepare on the position, begin your first cycle. It's a half squat, half deadlift. 
dumbbells together next to your chest, not next to your belly, please. Clutch, guys. Bend over and give it a half squat. One more clutch, bend over. Go ahead and stop. Cycle one is complete on the position. Ready? Set, begin. Very nice. We can go really quickly, especially if you're using heavier weights with me today. Bicep clutch, guys. Again, one more, one more, one more. This is it. Put your dumbbells on the floor for a few seconds. If you have to, I'm gonna turn around sideways. Recycle number three, begin, guys. You keep the quality position with your abs and core. Dumbbells next to your chest, not next to your belly, guys. Keep your elbows lifted, one more. This is good, perfect. I'm gonna put my 15 pounders for a couple seconds in the three, guys. Two, prepare for bicep curl clutch, begin. Keep your elbows, guys, outside when you clutch your bicep. So you can work your upper body really nicely. This is good. Muscle up. One more bicep. Good. All right, we're almost there. This is a demanding round, especially with 30 pounds for me. On the position, clutch. Good job. Clutch. Back. Bicep, my shoulders. Same on fire, but I'm so happy that I picked 15 pounds set for this exercise. One more. Bicep. Awesome. All right. Take a deep breath in. On the position. Grab your weight. Let's crush it super strong, guys. This is your final cycle for this Tabata. Absin, when you do your good morning position squat slash deadlift. One more, guys. This is your longer break. Finish it. Awesome. All right. Back to our water break. We have another 35 seconds to recover and we move into our Tabata number six out of 10 already. Take a look quickly, guys, at your demo. I'm going to be doing this exercise with my 10 pounds. This is your reverse lunge. We'll alternate the sides with your uneven arm brace. The leg steps back for your lunge. The same side arm will go to the front on the position. Another side will go to the side. Three, two, one. Uneven arm raise. Switch, guys. This is it. Very nice. We have only a few seconds left, guys. Last one. Very good. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out, grab your dumbbells. The leg steps back, the arm goes to the front. Begin. Don't hurry up. Brace your core, watch your balance team. If at the end you can't lift your arms, just do the bicep curl, that's totally fine. This is good. 10 pounds is a very, a very challenging weight for this exercise. All right, on the position, begin. This is it. Perfect. Breathe, guys. One more. This is it. Again, if at the very last few reps, you can't lift your arms, your form is suffering, grab your weight. Do the bicep curl, begin. 
I'm going to demo that for you this time after a few reps. This is it. We got this. Like this. On the last couple reps, if you have to. Last one. Brace, guys. We have five seconds. We start again. Grab your weight. Ready? Set. Here we go. This is very demanding. Watch your front knee behind the toes. Breathe. Don't back bend. Last one. Good. Awesome. All right. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Grab your weights already. Ready, guys? This is your final. Let's give it the best. Breathe. Stay, guys. Stay, 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 stay. Till the very last second. All right, last one. Awesome work. That was insane hot exercise. All right, guys. Drink your water. And we have about 30 more seconds to recover and move to our Tabata number seven. Take a look at your demo. This was a fun exercise. I will be using 10 pounds for this one. Your options, guys. Listen for the options. Do your chest fly single arm in your tabletop, not in your bear hover. Begin. Butt kicks. Other side. Butt kicks. Fly, guys. Butt kicks, really nice one. Land low, team. One more. Come on down. If you find out you completed an uneven amount, like five or seven, begin next cycle from the other arm. Let's go. All the way. Fly. Butt kicks. Do your flies on your kneeling position. We have one more. So it's a five reps for me, an even amount. I'm gonna start with the opposite side. What I started for the previous cycle, begin guys. All the way, reach, butt kicks. Reach, fly. Butt kicks. Reach. One more, guys. Fight, 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 fight. Excellent. We are halfway through this sweaty tabata. Begin from the other side. Let's go. Breathe, guys. That's getting so challenging. Even with the 10 pounds, my quad screaming, my upper body screaming. Last one. All right, my friends. We're almost, almost there. Prepare. On the position. Let's crash this one. We have only this and the other cycle left. Butt kicks. Sweat is dripping uncontrollably. My goodness. Last one. Last one. All right, guys. We are up for final cycle of this sweaty tabata. Let's give it absolutely best. Begin. Work, 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 my friends. We are under 10 seconds. I want to see the good chest fly. Get the good butt kicks. Last one. This is it. Oh my lord. Come on up. 
my arms flex, my core, my abs, and my heart on fire. Drink your water, team. We have about 30 seconds to rest and to recover, and we're moving already to the exercise. Number eight, you're at the bottom number eight, guys. Stay quickly at your demo. I'm gonna do it with, at least begin with 15 pounds. This is your lean back exercise with a bicep curl. We can do it, tuck your toes. Don't squat, team. Lean back. This is good, simultaneously. Lean back, squeeze the glutes. This is it, try not to squat. This is a long neutral line, guys. I'm working with 30 pounds now. Last one. Come on down. Just for a few seconds. This is demanding exercise. Try not to squat, guys. Prepare. Let's crush this. This is it. In order for you not to squat, you really have to activate your glutes and quads and brace your core. If you have to do it without the weights today, this is okay. Last one. Good. Perfect. Very demanding. If you need to have just one dumbbell, totally fine. Repair. Let's crush this. Lean back. Oh my goodness. Lean back. Try not to squat. Lean back. Finish strong, guys. Lean back, power bicep. Come on back up. This is so challenging on the quads, on the core, and on the arms if you're using the big weights with me. All right, let's crush this one. We're moving quickly, guys. Stay with me. Up, in and tight, bicep, lean back. Bicep lean back. This is good. Oh my goodness. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Back on your knees, guys. Back your toes. You ready? I'm ready, you ready. Let's go. We have only two cycles left. Breathe, guys. This is good. Breathe, lean back. Breathe, lean back. One more. Come on back. Oh my goodness. All right. I'm gonna give my a gentle stretch. Come on back down. All right, prepare, let's crush this. Final one. Abs in and tight. Push my friends, push, 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 push. This is your final cycle for this one. My quads crying, in my glutes too, in my arms, this is it. That was amazingly challenging and amazingly strong, guys. Put your dumbbells back. Drink your water quickly. We have about 30 seconds. I barely can talk and we're moving to Tabata. Number nine, guys. We're gonna go in a supine position. This is your wide grip chest press. I'm gonna use 15 pounds with your lower leg hold. Your lower leg hold is optional, guys. You can also do the one leg at a time or not to do it at all. Prepare, lift, chest press. Your lower back must be grounded, guys. No matter where your legs are, Put one leg on the floor if you have to. Put them up towards the ceiling if your abs are crushing and crumbling. Last one. Dumbbells down. Rest, guys. Lower back on the floor, my friends. Prepare, hold the position, legs up. Begin your work. How low your legs are depends on your abs strings, guys. I'm doing the chest press. Wide grip with my 15 pounds dumbbells on each arm. 
One more. This is it. Breeze. All right, hold the position, guys. If you have to keep your head on the floor, that's okay. Push it. Then you will take your legs up over the ceiling. Otherwise, your back is not gonna be on the floor. Couple more reps, guys. Push. Last one. This is, I must say it, this is so hard. All right, on the position, guys. Three, two, one, go. Chin of the chest. Good job. We are about eight seconds to finish this cycle. Push it, guys. Last one. Oh my God. We have two cycles. Sweaty one left. Left. Let's go do it. If you have to put your legs, guys, up over the ceiling and finish up here, as I mentioned earlier, you can do it. One more. One more. This is it. Mindful with your dumbbells at the last rep and in the first rep when you're getting ready, guys. Dumbbells first up, then your legs. Push. This is your final. Let's do it right. Chest press. Chest press. Five seconds, team. One more rep, guys. Dumbbells down slowly. Put your dumbbells back. Rock them. You won't need your weights anymore. Remember, I told you that the last round, last the bottom of this workout, final exercise, is without your weight. That's gonna be intense, sweaty, will bring your heart rate up, and we will finish like superheroes. Take a look quickly at your demo. This is, guys, your push up to your two feet, jump to the side. If you're not doing your jumps, you do step to the side single leg, white hands, begin your work. Push to the side. So this is your upper body, core, and abs exercise. Push, guys. One more. Push, up, come on down. All right, we begin in a four seconds. Come on back up. Wide, do your push-ups on your knees if you have to. Let's go. Push. Push, team. Hop all the way to the side. Activate your obliques and your abs. Last one. Come on down. Arms on fire, heart on fire. We begin in three seconds. On the position, guys. Let's go. Again, if you did uneven amount of cups, then begin from the other side. All right, guys. Push it through. Last cup. We did it. That is so demanding. After all other nine Tabatas we did, we begin right away. Let's go. Push, guys. Push. Push, team. Last one. This is it. We have a couple cycles left, guys. Prepare. Let's crush this. At least four, guys. At least four in its 40 seconds. Last 
Last one. I managed to do five this time. All right, guys. You're to bottom number 10. Your final exercise on the position, final cycle. Let's go. Push it, team. Last one, guys. Excellent. Excellent. Everybody, congratulations. You are super active, strong part of this workout is officially complete. We have, guys, a good five to eight minutes quality Pilates yoga style cool down. Drink your water. We are not on the timer anymore. All right, my friends. Come on down on your back with me. We're going up and lay down all the way on the floor. Take your time. Find those arms behind your head. Stay the way from the arms and slowly lift your one leg up, guys. We will hold this leg together for a few seconds before we're gonna move to the next exercise. Stretch for the hips, glutes, lower back, hip flexor. So slowly take this leg on the side. If you can't hold this leg where your ankle is, that's okay. Hold it like any other place and reach back up, plant your hand right on top, send your knee back down. Hold for a few seconds, and then we're gonna move to the next exercise, next stretch, take this ankle all the way across. One of my favorite stretches lately, feels so good on the lower back and the hips. And then we lift the other leg, and you will find one knee on top of another. If this is too challenging, then just go ahead and crisscross your wrinkles instead, guys. Breathe in. Breathe out. Keep on holding. Keep on holding. And we're ready to switch our legs. We will put the first leg down, and we will hold with a straight soft knee the other leg up, guys. Take a few breaths before we move to the leg release on the floor. Again, whether it gets set far down or not, it doesn't matter. And let's slowly take it back and plant your hand right on top. Press on top on the leg with the both hands or with one hand, it doesn't matter. This is it. And we will switch the grip. We carry this leg across. Just simply hold it, Tim. You don't have to do anything special. Take a deep breath in, relax, and then we're ready to lift that other leg from the floor. And you're gonna find yourself with the one knee on top of another. Again, if this is unavailable yet, it will be, I promise you, as we do our stretches, our yoga practices, Pilates practices, then just crisscross your ankles for now. Very good. And slowly undo those legs, then put your both feet on the floor, take your arms on the side, and bring those hips up, thrust through the heels. Make sure there is no body weight or force on your neck, guys. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Feels so good. Inhalation, exhalation. Hips slowly back down. Go ahead and take your legs all the way up and roll over with me, guys. Hold this rollover position for just a few extra inhalations and exhalations with me. We did an amazingly strong job, my friends. Our body needs a good quality stretch. Go ahead and make yourself back up. Put your both feet on the floor. 
and sit up with me. We will take our hands behind. Try to set your wrist hand underneath the elbows and the shoulders. You will feel if it's right or not. It feels really comfortable when your wrist stuck underneath the shoulders, hips up. Hold with me your reverse table top for a few seconds. Four guys, three, two, all the way back down and extend your legs. We go ahead and fall forward with long extended back. Again, for just a few seconds, hold. Stay with me. And let's slowly take our one leg all the way on the side. If you can't hold it this way, then you can put it all the way inside, right? You don't have to take it outside. Try to make sure that you sit level on the both sit bones. And only then, we're gonna go to the front leg. Hold with me for a few seconds here. So we work on this one leg stretch. Achilles hamstring, lower back. And let's slowly come on up and just push against the extended leg, guys. And go for your half spinal twist. Just a very gentle one. And it's time for us to switch the sides and do this stretch on the other side. Go ahead and put your knee outside 90 degrees away from extended leg if you can. Make sure that you sit comfortably on the both sit bones and we pull forward. We give it a good, gentle forward fold on one side. Mm -hmm. And slowly return back up. Take your hands inside the inner thighs and go for that gentle half spinal twist rotation. Very nice. And let's bring ourselves back. Put your bows feet behind it if you can, or you can fold them in. Just the way I told you, you can do with the one leg. Stay with me up here, or even go lower. For some of us, it's not available. Then we're gonna put our bows feet inside, fist closed, or just next to each other, and fold forward this way. And let's come on up for the back bend. Do it your way, guys. You don't have to send your hands into your feet. You can put them into your back. Or you can send them all the way down, hips forward, chest up. Hold with me for just a few seconds. And come on back. How we dive in? into the kneeling position. Wrist elbow shoulder, one on top another, just a gentle up and down stretch. Feels so good. You can stay right what you're doing here in your cat and cow, or you can come up with me to the downward face window for upside down D, and then slowly move through your plank to your upward face window for, for your cobra. Chest up and lift it. Very nice, all the way back. Inhalation, exhalation, one more time. And come on back to your dumber facing dog. Inhalation, exhalation, one final time, guys. Shoulders up, back and down, look above one shoulder. And all the way, hip up another shoulder. Fantastic team. Come on up, slow with me team, all the way. And slowly walk towards the top, grab your elbows, bend your knees, and just sway side to side, relax your neck and head. And then slowly make your way to the center for the final inhalation. Exhalation, we did an outstanding guys. Super strong, fantastic work together. Great in guys. And very, very good, my friends. We're only getting stronger every single day. So make sure to leave me a comment down below. How did you do? What was your favorite exercise? What was the hardest one? And what are you struggling with? Because I'm here 
to help you anyway. Hi, Tian. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe so you never, guys, miss your daily workouts. Help you to share the videos with others so we can reach more people and hopefully to make this world a little bit more healthier and happier. I will see you all tomorrow.